in this lecture we are discussing about two important term of lpp and these are the extreme points and boundary point that is the extreme points of convex set which is also known as vertices and boundary point of convex set we first see the definition of extreme point let s be a convex set and a point x which is belongs to s must be belongs to s is said to be an extreme point or vertex of s if x cannot be this is cannot be not can be cannot be expressed as convex combination of any two point of s okay if x cannot be expressed as the convex combination of any two point of s then x is said to be extreme point that is there exist or there does not exist sorry there does not exist two point x1 x2 belongs to s such that x this is equal to lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 this is the convex combination of x1 x2 and we cannot find this x1 x2 belongs to s such that this type of relation we have found okay so this point is said to be extreme point or vertex and also a point x belongs to s this is also a point of convex set is said to be boundary point of the convex set s if for any neighborhood n of x of x be any neighborhood of x such that n of x is not contained wholly in s right now we discuss this two term in a rough sketch let this a triangle we know that this is a convex set right and if we take this point that is the vertex we know that this is the vertex and there are three vertex of a triangle okay and this vertex cannot be expressed as the linear combination of or sorry convex combination of any two point of this set because convex combination means a line segment okay so if we get two point before and after of this two this point and this then this two point outside the set okay and if we get here a point and this is a point and then we cannot get any other point if we take any other point then this point is outside the set okay so these three are the vertex or extreme point but here we take a point this is let x and if we draw a neighborhood of x this is n of x this type of neighborhood then we see that the neighborhood is not only lies in the triangle this is this is outside the triangle and some of the neighborhood is inside the triangle okay so we get n of x this is not a subset of s so this type of point is a boundary point and this point is a vertex or extreme point okay and from this to definition it is clear that we say that about the extreme point extreme point must be boundary point okay but boundary point may not be an extreme point okay so we get this is an important property of extreme point that is extreme point must be a boundary point but all the boundary point not an extreme point and it is assumed that if we get a single tone set that is a set containing only one point this is x 
okay and then this set is taken to be convex set convex set because we take any two point from this then we must have to take two point as the same point x then if we make a convex combination of this two point then we get lambda x plus 1 minus lambda into x and this is also becomes x so this is belongs to a so this point or single tone set is taken to be a convex set and in this case this point is also taken to be boundary point and also taken to be x to point or vertex okay so we write so for single tone set single tone set the only element is taken to be x to the point okay now here we give two or three important example of x to the point first we give an example of x to the point as line segment joining x1 x2 and this is given by if this is taken to be x and this is given by x such that x equal to lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda x2 x1 where zero less equal to lambda less equal to 1 we know that this is the definition of line segment joining two point x1 and x2 okay and this is the line segment this is x1 this is x2 here the extreme points are only two point okay and all the point of the line segment that is infinite number of point are here all the points on the line segment are boundary point okay and if we denote the set of extreme point is e then the set of extreme point is given by x1 x2 these are the only two extreme point if we take a straight line what is the definition of straight line the straight line is given by the set x is given by x such that minus infinity less x less infinity this is the straight line and in this case we get the extreme point set of extreme point is phi because a straight line have no extreme point so this is an important example of convex set this is must be convex set because we know that in a straight line any two point we take then the convex combination that is the line segment must be on the straight line okay so this is a convex set but it has no extreme point this is a convex set it has only two extreme point this is a convex set it has only three extreme point if we consider a ray okay that is a b a b ray and the definition of ray a b is taken to be if we write x this is equal to x such that zero less equal to x less than infinity okay and clearly it has only one extreme point this is zero okay and no other extreme point but all the points on this ray are the boundary point and now we consider an example we consider an example such that x this is equal to x y such that x square plus y square less equal to less equal to r square okay this is this is a circular disk of radius r and we know that we know that this is circular disk of radius r and this is given by a convex set and the extreme points are extreme points are x comma y such that x square plus y square this is equal to r square okay this is equal to r square but here this is less equal to r square and these are the extreme point and here in this example these are the boundary point also these are the extreme point so in this example 
all the boundary point are extreme point and it has infinitely many extreme point okay so we give example of convex set which is which has no extreme point give example of convex set which has only one extreme point give example of convex set which has only two extreme point which has only three extreme point if we require them we get a square or a rectangle or a quadrilateral okay. which have four extreme point and here we give an example which have infinitely many extreme point okay and this all example are very very important for your exam and that's all about extreme point thank you thank you for watching